Um, I'll just give you a real quick overview of the background of the Solution Center. Um, we are one of several initiatives that was formed by the Clean Energy uh, Ministerial, um, and we were launched in uh, April of 2011. I've listed a few other uh, clean energy uh, or some initiatives that are um, a part of the overall um, working um, initiative group within the Clean Energy Ministerial, and these are all initiatives that we um, work closely with and collaborate with on certain uh, issues such as energy access and grid integration and appliances, smart grids, things of that nature. So um, our primary focus is again helping governments design and adopt policies and programs that in the end will support the deployment of uh, clean energy technologies and help them meet their renewable energy and energy efficiency targets and goals. We work with very closely collaborations I think is one of the key um, success factors in the Solution Center and you know with other initiatives. So we have over 40 partners and I just listed a few up here including of course our good friends at REAP and CTCN, Let's GP and others that we work closely with and collaborate with on um, I guess work efforts that uh, meet uh, our mutual goals. And we are co-chaired and funded by the US, Australian and Swedish governments. So that is where we get our funding. So our goals, I, I, the way I see our goals is how we tie into the overall objectives of being um, good climate knowledge brokers, specifically on the topics of clean energy. So the way that we broker our knowledge that again ties back into our goals is um, we, we strive to serve as um, a principal clearinghouse of clean energy policy and program resources. And that includes having um, a library, which I believe now contains over 3,000 resources, including reports, data, analysis, analysis tools, and things of that nature that are reported to uh, policymakers and governments around the world. Um, we deliver uh, this dynamic service, and I think it's really our marquee service called Ask an Expert, where we've convened a team of over, I think, we're close to 50 experts now that we have in our roster who are available to work with governments free of charge to the government to help provide advice, support, um, and things of that nature to help them develop their policies and programs. But again, focused on clean energy. Um, we also, in like what we're doing today, peer exchange, you know, working with governments to help them convene and discuss their issues and problems and kind of come to solutions together. We do this through workshops, of course, and things of that nature. Um, and also we, um, it's not mentioned right here, we have a very, very strong webinar platform where we deliver um, uh, the trainings, if you will, to um, uh, attendees. Again, these webinars are free of charge. We've worked with REAP, of course. We have um, an upcoming webinar on the 27th with Dinesh, who will be uh, talking about the new uh, red screen products that are available. And I'll let you talk a little bit more about that when uh, you come up to um, show the tool and things of that nature. And again, um, our primary audience is uh, government policy makers and advisors. Uh, we also, at COP this year, or last year, launched what we call the Clean Energy Finance Solution Center. So we work with governments now that they have their policies. What should they think about as far as finance mechanisms to help draw or mobilize investments to help support those clean energy projects that they want to um, develop within their countries or regions? Again, this is sort of just a review of what I just said. We provide the Ask an Expert service, the webinars and online trainings, <coughs> excuse me, finance solutions, and then our library of clean energy policy resources. Um, you may recognize at least one face in this uh, grouping of experts, but this is just a sampling of some of the experts that we have on hand to provide uh, assistance. You see this map, uh, it actually needs to be updated, demonstrating or illustrating, I should say, um, the countries and regions we've helped since we uh, launched the Solution Center. And to date, we've um, provided assistance to more than 300 requests coming in from over 90 countries and regions around the world. Um, the reason that we have more requests than countries and regions we've served is that many countries and regions come back to us for repeat or follow-on assistance. And these are just a sampling 
Uh, some of the um, Ask an Expert uh, requests we've served, we work with the Caribbean community. They, a few years ago, developed a regional energy policy, sustainable energy policy. We helped them with setting realistic uh, renewable energy targets and um, in, in, or incorporating net billing components into the policy. We're currently um, working with CARICOM on development of their knowledge management system. Nadia is here and can tell you a little bit more about what that is all about. So if you have questions about that. But we welcome you, Nadia, to this workshop. I hope you um, come away with some good information from um, all of the people in this room that have faced similar challenges when developing such systems. But um, so this is called the Caribbean Sustainable Energy Roadmap and Strategy, and it's designed to build on existing efforts in the region um, that will help CARICOM member states, there are 15 of them, um, develop coherent strategies, uh, again, for transitioning to sustainable energy policies. Um, we've worked with uh, uh, the Asia Development Bank and IP on de delivering um, uh, best practices and helping them develop roadmaps uh, within the uh, Asia Pacific region. We did this at a workshop in uh, Singapore. We assisted South Africa with a regulation that was helped to help them to um, encourage or uh, increase energy efficiency in the commercial building sector. And um, we deliver trainings. We've delivered a few on site trainings in addition to our uh, online webinar trainings. Um, and the one that's been really successful for us are ones we delivered in Trinidad, Tobago, Jamaica, Barbados, and also in West Africa on capacity billing, training the trainers to help them um, understand how they can conduct their own energy assessments and energy audit, audits on buildings within their regions and also train others, so workforce development basically. And um, a couple of things that we've done where we've teamed up again with our partners and delivered uh, regional support. We worked with the Organization of American States in the Caribbean. There were uh, three primary things that I'll talk about here. We helped Belize uh, launch or design energy efficiency standards, um, focused on minimum energy performance standards, um, and uh, Michelle can speak to a little bit more about that probably. Uh, we worked with Antigua Barbuda on developing a sustainable island resource framework fund and the proceeds or the, uh, the money that they accumulate from this fund goes back into supporting environmental projects across both of those countries. And then we helped facilitate development of a uh, model power purchase agreement that aligned with the feed and tariff policy in Trinidad Tobago. Uh, we work a lot with West Africa through the ECRI, ECOWAS, Center for Renewable Energy and Energy Efficiency, providing support to West African states. Um, we're currently supporting them with NDC implementation. We worked with them last year on developing a policy called Gender Mainstreaming and Energy Access. That policy is uh, set to be adopted next month at the ministerial level. So I'll be out in... Um, Ghana next month uh, for that particular event. We're helping them with clean cooking options. And we also delivered a webinar training to them on Red Screen. And uh, it was pretty intensive. It was very successful. Two days were, um, two days of the training were in English and two days of the training were provided in French. And with that, I just wanted to say thank you for being here, but I also want to now give Dinesh a few moments to talk a little bit about that training and show you this latest and greatest product coming out of Red Screen. So with that, Dinesh, the floor is yours. 